David Nadal presents Art Basel Miami Beach. It's the Vernissage Main Convention Center. Let's see what's going on. Here with Ada, can you tell us about the work? Yeah, this work uh, it's an oil on canvas mm -hmm. by Yan Pei Ming. It's mm -hmm. a Chinese artist, very important. Mm -hmm. um, represent uh, Pu Ji, uh, mm -hmm. is the last imperator. Mm -hmm. um, it's a unique piece because it's the only work, only portrait that Yan Pei Ming did of the imperator. So it's quite a very important work. Um, Yan Pei Ming works with uh, red and uh, uh, black. This is the two colors of the painter. Mm. So this is special red piece. And um, it's from 2007. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, what else? Right. And uh, can, you, can you tell us a little bit about how you choose your artists? Um, yeah, we work with uh, our artists since long time, uh, and um, yeah, are um, more international than Italian artists. Mm -hmm. um, quite, a, I mean, every artist that we work with are um, good career, mm -hmm. like uh, Rudolf Stingel, yes. Piotr Klansky, mm -hmm. George Kondo, mm -hmm. Kelly Walker. This is a couple of the artists. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we choose uh, the um, uh, the masterpiece uh, um, of the artist. We choose to bring at the fair. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the selection. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No matter what you're looking for, no matter what's on your mind, you're going to find it at Art Basel Miami Beach. Every theme you could imagine has probably been touched upon by every artist you can imagine. And they're not all here, but it's close. If you look behind you, there's spiders. To the right are butterflies in glass containers. Say, uh, and then suddenly you're in outer space. We are going to talk about Jacob Hashimoto's installation. So this is a, a site-specific installation that okay. American-born artist Jacob Hashimoto did. Um, it's called Forest Collapsed Upon Forest. This is the second time that he's installed this work, but naturally it looks different given the the space and sense. he uses um, collaged elements that are made of uh, rice paper acrylic and nylon and bamboo mm -hmm. to okay. basically create this this sort of tangled forest that you see here he also did these two wall pieces as well much they're made of the same type of materials um, and much much smaller in scale it's like a mm -hmm, slightly smaller in scale and um, they're also they're their wall works. They're, I mean, they're essentially sculptures. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if these works went into a, would you imagine they would go into a home, into a garden, into a public well, space? Actually, how, I think that, how do you I think, think they'd work? This particular installation is incredibly versatile, and I think that it could be um, installed in a collector's home, just mm -hmm. depending on what Jacob sees fit, um, given the space, or um, in a museum setting. 
um, any area that has sort of an open space. Jacob mm -hmm. is an artist that is incredibly brilliant at sort of transforming different types of spaces. So, mm -hmm. Does he like to get involved with the installation or the movement? Oh, or he, he does the installation 100%. He, oh, okay. and, so he was and his assistant completed this particular installation mm -hmm. in the two days before the fair opened. So he was here? Mm -hmm. okay. He's here. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, so, thank you very my much. My pleasure. Thank you. That was great. Copying Dan Flavin? I don't know. Do you want to, should we talk to him? Do you want to talk to these guys about all the blah, blah, blah? Now that's living well right there. That's That is the only way to travel. Another Michael Jackson tribute, I think it's okay.